In this tutorial, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about Quick Access Toolbar. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. Let's get started. First thing you need to know what is Quick Access Toolbar. This is the part we can call Quick Access Toolbar, okay? Now, whenever you need to quickly access something in Excel, you use the Quick Access Toolbar, okay? Now here, we have by default save, undo and redo. We usually use this frequently. So we have this in quick access toolbar. First, you need to understand you can change the location of your quick access toolbar. If I click on this drop down, and you can see we have an option here show above the ribbon. If I click here, our quick access toolbar has been moved from here to here. Okay, now change it back to below the ribbon. In short, Whenever you need to access a menu or commands quickly, you can add it to quick access toolbar. We can customize this list and now I'm going to show you all the ways you can customize your quick access toolbar or all the ways you can add menu or commands to your quick access toolbar. Now the first way to add commands or menu to quick access toolbar is to click on this drop down and here we have a predefined list. Okay, new, open, save, email, quick print, we have a lot of menus here we can select this and it will be added to quick access toolbar let's select new okay now we have just added a menu to our quick access toolbar that can create a new workbook so if i click here a new workbook has been created you can see the name book one here okay let's close this workbook now let's say you have a menu that you use frequently i use frequently clear format option so if i have formatting in this cell let's say i want this formatting but i want to remove the color okay or i want to remove all the formatting let's add some border and let's change the font okay if i want to remove the formatting and keep the text only select the cell from home tab clear and clear formats option so that would remove the formatting now i do use this frequently so i want to add this to our quick access toolbar so i'm going to go to that position where I have clear format. Now I'm going to right click here and you can see we have an option add to quick access toolbar. If I click here, this menu is just added here. So now test it again. Let's format it. And now if I click here, our formatting is gone. This is another way to add menu or commands to quick access toolbar. There is another way to add menus to quick access toolbar, which will be from file, then more, and then options. And here we have quick access toolbar we can add menus from here okay if we want we can add border let's select border and then click on add and if i click ok that menu has been added to our quick access toolbar we can go to the same location from this drop down if i click here and click on more commands and here we are already in the quick access toolbar option and we can select any menu from here we can select from popular commands we can select all commands and we can find our required commands from here and add it to quick access toolbar now let's say we want to save this workbook as pdf we have to click on file and from here we can click on export and create x pdf for xps documents okay if i click here you can see we can save this workbook in pdf if i want to add this to quick access toolbar how can i do this because i cannot use right button here or i cannot right click to add this menu to quick access toolbar so i'm going to click here click on more commands and now from this drop down i'm going to select file tab because that menu was in the file tab okay so i'm going to select file tab every commands we have in file tab that can be added to quick access toolbar will be listed here so we have selected file tab and now i'm going to find publish as pdf for xps if i select this and click on add and click ok and now if i click this option we can save this workbook as pdf now what if you have been using macro you need to use a macro frequently how can you add a macro to quick access toolbar so it's really simple click on this drop down click on more commands and from here popular commons select macros all the macro you have in your workbook will be listed here i have already added a macro in this workbook which is used to add checkboxes i'm going to select that and i'm going to click on add and click on ok now that macro is listed here if i click here and click ok 
we have created a checkbox here so you can see we can use the check mark here okay so this is a macro and it's used for adding checkboxes if, if you want to learn how to do it you can check out this tutorial so in this way you can add macros to your quick access toolbar there is another excellent facility for quick access toolbar you can add tools that is not listed in any menu or commands okay we don't find calculator in any menu group okay but we can access calculator from quick access toolbar I have used this feature a lot and I access that from the quick access toolbar. So how can you add calculator which is not added in any menu or commands from the drop down again more commands and here I'm going to select all commands. Okay now I'm going to search calculator from this list and we have our calculator here. So if I select it click on add click OK. Now we have calculator. Now calculator is not added to any menu group but we can still access it from quick access toolbar. If I click here our default calculator will be open. Okay. We can also change menu icon from quick access toolbar. Click on this drop down and from more commands and select let's say I want to change the icon for this menu. So I'm going to select it and here we have an option modify if I click here you can see we can select a lot of icon from here and I'm going to select this icon okay and click OK and I'm going to click OK and you can see our icon has been changed so this macro can create checkbox and I have added this icon so if I select any cell click on this icon and click OK and you can see we have a pretty similar icon okay so in this way you can modify icons of your menu from quick access toolbar as you cannot see the names you can see only the menu name if you hover over that menu or commands so icon is really important and this is how you change icon of your commands from quick access toolbar now as we have a lot of option here we need to rearrange this from the drop down more commands and now let's say i want to add calculator from here to here i'm going to select the calculator and you can see here we have up or down arrow so i'm going to click on up and and i have placed calculator here okay now let's add new file to at the last position so i can change that this is how you can reorder if i click ok and you can see the icon position has been changed okay also if you want you can create groups here okay from this drop down more commands and here the first option is separator if you select it and click on add you have a separator here okay so i'm going to separate default to our custom option so i added the separator here and i'm going to add another separator before checkboxes so i'm going to click on separator click on add and now i'm going to reorder it and here so we have three groups with two separator if i click ok and you can see here we have our separator and here we have our separator in this way we can group quick access toolbar menu using separators now there are options in which you can add quick access toolbar menu based on different workbooks okay so in this workbook we have all these options if i create a new workbook you can see you can access all the quick access toolbar okay now let's change things here a bit from the drop down from more commands and here customize quick access toolbar we have a drop down here if i click here we will have two options the first one is for all documents so if it is selected usually it is selected whenever you add a quick access toolbar menu it will be accessible to all the workbooks you open but if you want specific commands for a specific workbook you can change that okay now here we have an option for macro okay this macro is only available in this workbook i don't want it for all the workbooks okay so i'm going to click on this drop down and select the workbook and i'm going to add that macro here and i'm going to remove this from all the workbook now check in this list i don't have any macro in the list which is accessible for all the workbook but i have macros in this workbook so i have added macro in the quick access toolbar that is specifically used in this workbook okay let me click ok and here you can see our macro is added here if i click on new workbook so this is book 3 a new workbook and you cannot see the icon for your macro in this way you can specify which commands you want to access from which workbook okay 
this is really important and now let's see how you can reset or delete menus from quick access toolbar let's close this workbook from this drop down more commands now first let's learn how to remove a menu from quick access toolbar so here i want to remove border select the border and here we have option remove okay now if i click on this drop down and select the workbook i am working on i i can remove this also okay another option i want to show you is to reset okay so if i click on reset we'll have two options reset only quick access tool but if i click here you can see we have a pop-up and if i click yes you can see all the customized quick access toolbar menu has been removed if i click ok you can see all the menu has been removed except the one dedicated for this workbook so if i click on drop down click on more commands and from here from this workbook if i remove it or if i reset it from here and click ok all the quick access toolbar menu is gone okay now if i create a new blank workbook you can see no menu is added to our quick access toolbar so these are the things you should know or understand about quick access toolbar if you think i should create explanation video like this please let me know in the comment if you can support the channel through patreon and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next tutorials thank you thanks for watching